Good morning, guys, and happy Saturday. So I actually took a four-day weekend this weekend, which has been low-key amazing. So I had Friday off yesterday. We literally did nothing, like, sat around the house. I mean, I filmed a video. We went and picked up dinner. Like, it wasn't, wasn't Oscar-worthy material, so I didn't film. It is about three in the afternoon. So far today, I've cleaned up the house. I made the bed today. Love that for me. Zane's editing the video for tomorrow morning, and it's just been a really chill day. We're actually going to Ikea tonight. We're also going to hit Half Price Books, which, as you all know, I absolutely love. Let's get some pictures hung and go to Ikea, and then hopefully get some meatballs. I'm starving. Oh, and it's raining. There goes the outfit I had planned. Okay, guys, let's go. <laughs> all right, so here are the pictures in question. These are just vintage Tom Ford. I think these were printed, yeah, 1984, so they're, they're old. They're older than Zane and I both, and I think the picture frames are... I think they're West Elm from many years ago. These used to hang in our primary suite in the old apartment. And they are gonna go right on this wall here. I just checked for studs and as luck would have it, there isn't anything right in the center. So I'm hoping, knock on wood, that I get lucky. Okay, so they're finally up and I had to kind of stagger them, which I think looks really cool once you see the leather behind like the other one. It's you know leather, very Tom of Finland. It's on brand. To be honest, you guys, you can see the two holes. I, I hit a stud. My stud finder said there wasn't one. Surprise, metal stud out of nowhere. I need to get some compound, fill those in, and make that those two holes go away. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the overlapping effect. And I lied to you guys, full transparency, I don't want to build this channel on lies, but these frames were from CB2 a long, long, long time ago. <laughs> Vibe check. So today we just have Adidas, Target, Dooney, ASOS, some old Reeboks. It's a vibe. Let's go to Ikea. Let's do some shopping. So cool, black nail cards. Okay, I definitely need to buy find this game. Okay, so we're finally done with Ikea, and we originally went for a bench, saw it in person, and absolutely hated it. Not for us. No, not for us. However, we do need to go and pick up the vase that I put on for Click and Collect. So curbside pickup. It's Click and Collect. It's very exclusive. You've probably never even heard of it. Never. It's got to, you gotta be on a wait list. Anyway, mm. guys, let's go and get this vase because I saw one on display and it is- It's pretty. It's fire. I'm super freaking excited. So let's go get it. Okay, guys, don't get jealous, but is this not a, a total vibe? Oh my 
<laughs> so excited. <laughs> okay, this trip is well worth it now. <laughs> So we're finally home and I just have to share with you, these Kaffirep ginger thin cookies are quite honestly amazing. They're, they're, they're really good with coffee. It also gives me a reason to bust out the old Michael Graves cookie jar. So 100% a vibe. If you're going into Ikea, just like do yourself a favor. They're basically in the checkout lane. guys good morning so today it is sunday morning which right so we're about to run down to starby's starby fit check hey <laughs> anyway we have an order to go to pick up and then we have our video which is premiering at 11. so we need to go a little bit of a time crunch so let's get some starby's guys so we are home and who else is excited i mean seriously you guys the new louis vuitton items are just killing it i've been this excited about lv in years so i'm super excited to see what you guys think Right, guys so far today has been incredibly chill it's just like a nice chill chill vibes sunday um i have something to admit to you guys last night i did something i bought another bag oops it doesn't technically count we're still on the birkin journey don't get me wrong i think i'm gonna wait though to like the end of the year when like i think reback has like their black friday sale fashion file eventually has like a 20 percent. so we're gonna wait for like kind of that time period i think toward the birkins we have time we have 10 months we're good anyway I have something super exciting. So this vintage Dunienberg right here has an absolute chokehold on me. I don't know what it is. I don't know why. It was an $80 bag online, but it is literally one of my favorite bags. And so what I said. So I switched into that with you guys a couple weekends ago. Well, last weekend for me, two weekends now for you. I, do, I don't want to switch out of it. I just, I have no desire to. It is literally the perfect bag. It's like beautiful. It's tactile. It, it, it's phenomenal leather. Like this is what I would expect from like some of the houses today, quality wise. Like this bag is a literal tank. And I mean, come on, admit for being almost 30 years, if not over 30 years, not me, the bag. Thank you. It looks flawless. You have to admit. So yes, I bought a second one last night, same style, the medium Essex. I'm just so freaking excited. I think I found another sweet seller again on eBay. I've been burned on, on eBay, Poshmark, like all the platforms with like horrendous shipping. So if I'm going to buy like something like that, that is in nearly flawless condition again, lightning strikes twice, love that for me. I want to make sure it's shipped right. So that way it's not totally misshapen and squashed in like a teeny tiny box just so they could save a buck for shipping. Oh, padded mailers. That's, that's my biggest, biggest pet peeve. Like, thank you for folding my beautifully structured bag down into a padded mail. Anyway, so the seller was incredibly sweet. She emailed me back within like five minutes. I'm like, I've hemmed and hawed about this bag, honestly, for like a week now. And I'm like, oh, I should do it. I'm just going to do it. Anyway, so today's been really chill. Zane and I are going to work on organizing our den space. It's technically the second bedroom on our floor plan, but it's, we call it the den because I mean, we're a couple of guys, no kids, so we don't need a second bedroom. So it's going to become a den space, like a TV room, Zane's video game, nerd space, whatever he wants to do with it. Love that for us. And we're just going to kind of concentrate on that. We're going to run to Target, of course, um, and get a Starbucks drink. Of course, like I want one today. Like, come on, you know me better than that. And I think we're going to make burritos for dinner, which I'm super excited about. I'm going to play some video games now, just kind of like chill. Zane's out playing Pokemon Go. Just like something going on today and he has to like catch something. I don't. I don't know, but I'm a supportive husband and like you do you. I've chatted enough. Let's get on with the day. <laughs> Hello. 
<laughs> Hello. All right, guys. So we got our Starbies. Mm. Caramel brulee latte. What'd you get? A cafe mocha. Ooh, classic. Uh, pistachio. Pistachio. Writing to Target, you guys, because we're going to make burritos for dinner, like I already told you. And I'm super excited. Like, we all love a Target run, right? It's thrilling. Thrilling. Let's do it. Let's do multiples. guys i'm about to share with you our greatest shame so we we normally keep a very tight ship around the house like you've seen it in the vlogs however there's just this one room and we've put off doing it because initially zane didn't move here right away so we really need to buy a sofa we and we just really need to decorate it but because it's not like a room we use it's kind of become a dumping zone i mean we we will use it once we have it it's just we just throw a lot of stuff in there. So I'm gonna show you guys. And this is a safe space, so no judgment. All right, here it is. I'm putting this on the news. <gasps> no. Candy. So this is... <clears throat> this is my room. This is Zane's room. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. It, it'll be neat once it's done. We're gonna hang a TV in between the two bookcases. Maybe paint. Right the TV's down there on the floor next to my sewing machine. Some old records, Crate and Barrel and Ethan Allen furniture. This is who we are. This is who we are. And then there's a little walk-in closet off the, the space here, but some artwork I need to Fine. frame, frame. <laughs> and yeah. hang up. It's just, it's like I said, you guys, it's just become a dumping ground. And if any of you say that you don't have a room like this, I don't believe you. Most of it's a basement, let's be honest. Most mm. people use their basement or That's garage. That's true. That's true. Oh, yeah. People that don't park in their garage. <gasps> oh, safe space, though. Oh, it's a safe space, yeah. <laughs> no judgment. No judgment. Um, so yeah, we're working on that. And while Zane is hard at work in there, I am going to hang a clock in the guest bath. Oh, but I wanted to show you guys. Any other Lisa Renna? Well, not lately, but early fans. <laughs> I saw that on Etsy and I'm like, I just, I have to have that. It's a vibe. All right, guys, so we've been working for a little bit. We've made some good progress, so let me show you. All right, so in the guest bathroom, I got the clock hung up. I mean, okay, so <laughs> these are not permanent decor pieces in here, but I do need to get some decorative towels. And then in Zane's space, you can see half of the floor, right? Kind of amazing. And uh, we found things that we forgot we had. So I'm kind of excited to start working on this a bit more. Hopefully then in about, what would you say, like two or three weeks? Yeah, that's the goal. Did, did I smell? What was that motion for? I have a hair on me. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, Excuse me, that's a little weird. Um, hopefully by the end of the month, we'll have like a usable space in here and then we can start shopping for furniture. We just need to get a sofa. Hey guys and happy monday it's been a beautiful four day weekend for me like i'm not gonna lie it's been kind of amazing um we were supposed to go into the city today and do some thrift shopping downtown however it's supposed to rain all day love that for me so instead we're gonna go down and do some thrift shopping out here in the suburbs there's a new goodwill i want to check out and just a couple other little like vintage thrifty kind of stores i'm hoping hoping it's not a wasted trip because you know how thrifting can go you know we don't want to upset the thrift gods. I'm ready to start the day. We need to go down and get some Starbucks. We actually woke up super early this morning, like eight o'clock, which is unheard of for us on a day off. And uh, we had some breakfast burritos and coffee. And then we watched some 48 Hour Mysteries. Love that for us. 
I hope you're all in the mood for Chill Monday because I know I am, so let's go. But first a fit check. All right, so today we're just going for cash, 90s vibes. I broke out the Shearling Red Star Height Converse. Zane back here is wearing Coach Ray to wear and some jorts. <laughs> Sun's out. Legs out. Sun's out, legs out. <laughs> let's go do some shopping and he's forcing me to stop at the storage unit. Love that for me. guys real talk so we just left goodwill uh there was supposed to be like four places we we're gonna hit in a row like half of them are closed mm -hmm. first store total bust goodwill bust i think in there we found like a dooney and burke for qvc like coated canvas number <laughs> was it real i'm on the fence and then two very dirty and disgusting mm. signature coach bags real talk like i'm on i'm on like thrift tiktok and where are these like walls of like coach and dooney and burke and kate spade bags that everyone's walking in on why don't i ever have that luck okay i know like i try and stay open you know try not to upset the thrifting gods and it never works out for me mm -hmm. except for that one place in aurora which we should have just gone to mm -hmm. that's what he said hey we're gonna try one more goodwill and then what i'm getting hungry i definitely want a milkshake mm -hmm. all right let's go try it So we just left the last Goodwill, and it was honestly pretty good. It's the best one we've done yet so far. Best one, hands down. Um, there was a lot of coach bags, none worth buying, in my opinion. The, there were a couple of styles that I actually really liked and are on my like, like my eBay watch list, but they were in really bad shape. Stains, like blown out corners. But I mean, everything in there was really well priced too. Like there was a newer coach bag for like six ninety nine. I mean, that's pretty decent. So update, there was like this weird roadblock and like the helicopter, there were cops everywhere, making it so much more exciting than it was. But traffic was really backed Dude, up. This is Vernon Hills. Right? Like, <laughs> what's going on? Um, so rather than like try and fight traffic, we're just going to settle for some. Fight traffic for what, mister? You never told them. Shake Shack. I said we're going to go to Shake Shack, didn't I? Oh, I don't know. Well, originally, if I haven't told you yet, we were going to go to Shake Shack and I was super excited because we haven't had it for a minute. And now we're going to Five Guys. Yeah, because... Where is it? It's on the opposite side of whatever the is drama is. Right there. I'm trying to point. Right there. there okay. <laughs> there. The five guys. But this means we can just walk down and go to half price though when we're done. Alright guys, so we're finally home and there's another wreck on the way here, which is crazy. However, I want to share with you what we got at half price. Alright, so I picked up this book in the clearance section for three bucks. Gated Prey. Has anyone read it? Like, do we have any 
any thoughts. I don't know, it just looked like a fun, silly, quick read. Kind of was giving me like Weeds or The Riches vibes, if any of you caught those shows. And then in photography, I gotta cover it up, we found this book, which will go in the library. And it's it's a pretty good book, not gonna lie. A lot of good pictures, only 15 bucks. So not a bad half price run. And just like that, that is a wrap on the weekend, sadly enough. It was a beautiful four days, a chill four days. We didn't really do a whole lot of like crazy, like exciting things. So if you made it this far in the vlog, good for you. Anyway, we just got done filming the video for Wednesday, which I'm hoping goes well. I'm a little bit nervous, but we'll see. Fingers crossed. Anyway, guys, until Sunday, stay safe, have fun. I am going to enjoy some Chardonnay and watch some TV. So that's a wrap. All right, guys, bye-bye.